Our next guest is a neurologist who discovered a great side effect when she started treating her patients on a holistic brain health program. That side effect was spontaneous shedding of extra pounds. What a miracle. Uh, please welcome the uh, author of The Prime, Dr. Kurit Chaudhary. Did I get that right? Go, wonderful. I understand. So you were you studied Western medicine, mm -hmm. and it wasn't until you became the patient that you could begin teaching this new way. Is that right? Things Explain. Things change when you're on the other side of the stethoscope, and so I actually developed migraine headaches, and I thought, no big deal. I'm a neurologist. I know which medications to start. Yes. And the medication side effects were worse than the headaches themselves, mm -hmm. and so I did basically what you know any intelligent physician would do. I went to my mom. <laughs> and said, Mom, I don't know what to do. I've tried everything for these headaches. And we had been introduced to Ayurvedic medicine growing up. Ayurvedic so said, medicine? Ayurvedic medicine. What is yeah. that? That's the natural healing system in India. And really the premise is just that food is medicine and that your body's health is a result of the different habits you have. Mm. And so we went, um, we saw an Ayurvedic practitioner and within a few months my headaches were gone, but it wasn't just my headaches, my digestion was better, my energy was up, and I actually lost some extra pounds that I hadn't even noticed had come onto my body. I, by the way, first two notes, first of all, this is tea that's on the table in yes. front of us. <laughs> but also, Karen, you, you nodded your head, as you were in agreement with what Wait, she Wait, I'm sorry, said. these are the urine I'm samples. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, because it looks like a color of urine. Good one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a doctor Sorry. with a good sense yeah. of humor. When you're well, working. then I'm going to take this tea. Uh, <laughs> but no, you agreed, right? I saw you nod with her about about food as healing. I think it's, especially with um, Asian, South Asian mm -hmm. families, you know, this is something that I think our moms must know each other because they talk all the time <laughs> to the in the face about eating, that there's so much... Um, Health, uh, health benefits that you can gain from what you eat. Yeah. So, as, well, as a, a medicinal alternative. Well, and it's really food as medicine, and that's why it's not so separated, because so many of the things that I talk about in the book, and as we'll explain with the tea, they're things that really turn your kitchen into a pharmacy, mm -hmm. and that's how I grew up, is thinking about, you know, natural remedies first before going to prescription medications. Well, you mentioned in your book that the, your body actually has two brains. You have your brain, yes. and then you refer to your gut as also a brain as well. Yes, and this is heresy, just so you understand um, <laughs> within the neurology community because we're taught that there's one all mastering brain that's located up here. And what I found when I started practicing Ayurvedic medicine, in addition to neurology, is that there's actually two brains. There's the brain here and there's the brain in the gut. And they communicate with each other. And you know, it's it's amazing. Like 90% of your serotonin, which is your feel-good um, neurotransmitter, is actually created in your gut. And if you have ever wondered if somebody was controlling what you were putting in your mouth, you were on the right track because the bacteria that live in your gut actually influence what you put at the tip of your fork. And this is why when you improve your digestion, you're creating a smarter gut, a smarter brain, and the pounds start just falling off. So yeah, when did the connection come? And how did it come yes. that what you were studying is also a weight loss. I wish I could say that I was that, you know, brilliant physician that knew from the very beginning, but I was surprised by it and it took me years to even notice it because my patients would come back and say, hey, Dr. Chaudhary, you know, my multiple sclerosis symptoms are getting better and my Parkinson's symptoms are getting better, but I'm also losing weight. And I kept kind of putting it off because I was a neurologist. I was like, I don't care if you're losing weight. Yeah. But then <laughs> after a while, what happened was that if I told people up front that they would lose weight, even more so than their brain health, they were compliant for their weight. Slides. Yeah. That's great. So I just embraced it. I'm not there to judge people about what's important. I said, hey, it does do this as well, so why not just embrace it and say, okay, it's a natural weight loss cure, and the side effect is apparently better brain health. Well, what, 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 should we, what should we be eating so we could, you know, do this? I had the same question. So food is medicine. Uh -huh. what, what, what kind of medicine food? is yeah. cheddar burritos? <laughs> I'm going shopping that, today, actually. That would be called rat poison. Oh, okay. <laughs> but what, what if, uh, if I'm going shopping today, what should, I, what should I pick up that I wouldn't pick well, up? Well, like, here's a very easy thing that you can do at home. It's this 
tea that we brought. Mm. And I include this it's in lovely. the book. It is. And here's the, here's the beauty of this, is I actually don't tell my patients to stop eating anything. What happens is as you start including these recommendations from the book in, you stop wanting that you know unhealthy food because you'll yeah. start noticing how bad the it makes you feel. The salt and the sugar is the yeah. late night yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. that I It naturally goes with. away. Yeah. And this is exactly why people start to lose weight spontaneously. What's, what's in this tea? I'm oh, go, yeah, do what, the yeah. tea and then I have a question for you. So this is so simple. Um, it's just three ingredients, and you'll recognize these yeah. because these are probably all in your mom's mm -hmm. kitchen. It's just cumin seeds, coriander seeds, and fennel seeds. And you just boil it for oh. anywhere from five to 10 minutes, depending on how strong you like it. And you strain the seeds out, put it in a thermos, and you just sip it all day long. But, you know, it's tasty. It's and if you yeah. just do this tea, you will start to notice even within one month that your cravings start to go away. All right, my question Are you is kidding? This. So it's this, it's the tea. I'm a doctor. I don't kid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your <laughs> exactly. Wow. It's my, here with a here's little my, bit of seeds. <laughs> doctor, here's my question. What are signs that I have a uh, a stupid gut, a I stupid, guess. Yeah. A dumb gut, yeah. Yeah, a dumb gut. Yeah, look like this. And yeah. No, no. I mean, what, the, is my, the, like, pain? Is the funny thing is that some of the signs are obvious, like, you know, bloating and constipation. Belching. But, belching. But some of the signs are, you know, around 2 o'clock, you have a energy slump. That is a sign of a dumb gut. Things like, you know, you're always catching everything that's going around. That's a sign of a mm. dumb gut. And here's a great sign. If you look in the morning, you're going to like this one. Okay. Uh, if you look in the morning and you look at your tongue and you have a thick white coating, that is a sign of a dumb gut. So in my book, I actually give a gut IQ test. You've heard of you know, an intelligence test. This is a gut intelligence test. And it's all of the signs of you having a dumb gut. And many of them are surprising. People don't associate it with right. their digestive system. Do I want to know what that white stuff is? Should I ask what that is? Just drink the tea. Just, yeah. <laughs> Just drink the tea. Just drink the tea. <laughs> don't ask any questions because you will okay. be grossed out. I'm wow. going out today and getting your book for sure. <laughs> Wonderful. The, the information the is there is on the bottom of our screen. Thank you so much for coming by. By the way, our pleasure. Facebook page is, a page is a great place to pick up stuff. No yeah. more nachos. And the, no more nachos. No more. It's called The Prime? The Prime. It's called The Prime. Yeah. The Prime. Wonderful. Not Wonderful. The and go to theprimeclub.com as we share with you. We're going to come back. Tanya, you're up. Yes, the most adorable animal face and whisker mugs coming right up. It's fennel.